Hi everyone, really quick, I just wanted to say a few things. Um, number one, I, well, if you have noticed, uh, there may have been some ads showing on my channel. Um, that's because YouTube decided a couple of months ago that they they can put ads on whatever channel or videos they want to. So they can pick some of your most popular videos and put ads on them. And to be honest, uh, I took that. I took that as a slap in the face because over the last um, going on two years, I had been struggling with unemployment. And so I needed the money and I refused to monetize my channel, uh, well, you know, these channels. But, you know, they went ahead and put ads on the videos anyway. So just so you know, that's not for me. And second, I wanted to thank Shaking My Head Productions for sharing my videos often, and I really appreciate it. Um, a number of other YouTube channels have refused to do that, and whatever, that's their choice, but um, I just want to let Shaking My Head Productions know that I appreciate um, him or her or whoever sharing my, my videos and helping you know people discover the, the stuff that's that I have to, to show and you know I'm I'm here to expose the divine feminine and and what I believe it truly is and and I encourage everyone to to take whatever they see on my channel and you know pray on it read the read the Bible go to the Bible like the, the like the Bereans search the scriptures daily to see if those things are so and um and remember that, you know, let God be true and every man a liar. So at the end of the day, you're not obligated to believe anything that I say. If you don't believe it, if you believe what I say is completely unbiblical, as some people have told me, then that's fine. That's up. You know, no, no issue with that. Just keep keep moving. Um, so. But that's basically it. Um, I will say that in the video that he shared recently, though, he, he did. It did call to mind something that I uh, that I neglected to mention. In the, it was about Rihanna um, and the connection to Rihanna, the singer, and the crown that she wore or the corona that she wore on her head. Um, it covered her eyes, and the the corona or the crown had braille on it, and braille is written by the blind course the god of this world blinds the minds of those who um who don't believe the gospel and that is connected to the spirit of, of slumber the spirit of deep sleep it's all the same spirit and so i just thought that was worth pointing out that the crown was blinding her and again that is that spirit that corona crown was that spirit of deep sleep or the spirit of slumber and so um, I'll post a link to the video that um, that Shaken Productions made that included some of my material so it's only fair if I sort of reciprocate some of the video sharing here so um, thank you all for watching and may our Lord Jesus Christ bless you it occurred to me that Sirius flashed multiple colors and I was also reminded today of the song by um, what, what are their names again uh, the Beatles the song Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds one of their verses goes in that song somebody calls you you answer quite slowly a girl with kaleidoscope And if you see in the image for um, the Rolling Stones lyric video that was produced, the girl has kaleidoscope eyes. And that leads me to believe that this woman that they are portraying or talking about in the video is Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds in this Rolling Stones video here. Two completely different bands, different artists, different songs. Yet they are are talking about the same things. The girl with kaleidoscope eyes. Anyway, moving on. 
so serious I want to show you some some screenshots of I will show you the video but just in case I don't want to get a, 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 a takedown notice from somebody else so they could end up being a strike so Sirius is um, when you look at it through a telescope it's clearly not a ball of light as you know or, or a burning gas blob or something out there in outer space like we're told it is very much um, it's, I don't know I can't even really describe it as strange it almost just looked like a flat disk and it, or a ring really the ring you remember the movie the ring and and it has the X going through it so you think about the O and the X or the X and the O and XO you know they use that for hugs and kisses right the X and the O uh, I know Freeman Fly tends to believe that the X and the O is going to be the mark of the beast but you know it's just speculation we don't know but it also looks like an eye really right it looks like the um, the iris of the eye and and it flashes multiple colors not only does it flash red white and blue but it flashes like rainbow colors and, and in this shot it looks even more like an eye uh, kind of more closely it looks like an eye so I have to wonder sometimes not only could the third eye be representative of the all-seen eye but maybe Sirius is what they really believe is the all-seen eye when they look up there and they see it in the sky through there I'm sure they had some kind of lens back in the day uh, some kind of telescope lens or whatever and I bet they were able to see this and they looked up there and said that's an eye that is the all-seeing eye and so oh, I'm at the end so um, Venus and Sirius are often associated with each other um, I huh, I had more screenshots than this that's weird I hope I didn't just delete them all. Um, I'm going to pause this and look for these other screenshots that I took. All right, so I found the other screenshots. I accidentally I accidentally deleted them earlier. So in my video proving Allah is ISIS a while back, um, I did some research on Sirius and also learned that Allah is called the Lord of Sirius. Now the information I have here on where exactly is located in Surah 74 is not actually correct. That's that's wrong information. It's somewhere else in but I mean the information is correct, just the location where of where it is in the Quran is incorrect. But that's what I got from the website, so you know this uh but somebody corrected me on that anyway. So Sirius is also the star associated with Allah, right? And and in Egypt, well, let me just read this. Also called the Dog Star, Sirius was worshipped by the Arabians at the time of the Muslim prophet Muhammad, something, and worshipped by the ancient Egyptians in the prehistoric times. Sirius is the brightest star in the night sky, known in the and known in ancient Egypt as Sabdet or Sothis. Is re, um, recorded in the earliest astronomical records. The hieroglyph for Sothis features a star and a triangle, and Sothis was identified with the embodiment of Isis, the wife and consort of Osiris, who appeared in the night in the sky as Orion. So, um, yes, this star is Sirius is identified with Isis, and Isis and Venus, the goddesses Isis and Venus, are both interchangeable. Just like the Ankh symbol looks like the Venus or the female symbol and the Ankh symbol is, can also be used as a symbol for the star Venus. I should have got that screenshot for you as well but um, just bear with me as I continue to, to examine a few more things here because I think it gets pretty interesting. 